Hello, and welcome to setting up a journal in OJS 3.3. This is module 13, Statistics. OJS 3.3 allows generating reports on the use of the site and submissions. To access this section, let's go into our dashboard through the top right corner of our journal's homepage. In the left navigation bar, let's locate the statistics section. This is divided into four subsections. In the first one, articles, we can find a graphic report on the views of our published articles. This report can be filtered in many ways. First, we can select a period of time by clicking on the calendar in the top right corner. Here, we can select a custom range to get the report on. We can also click on the filters button to filter by journal section. It is also possible to select if we want the report on the article's abstracts or the published files, and if we want to have a daily report or a monthly one. In the bottom of the graphic, we can see the article details, showing the title and the count on the abstract views. We'll also find the file views and the file views performant. The second option of the statistics section is editorial activity. This report will give us information about how are the submissions handled in a time period. We will be able to see how many active submissions we have and in which stages of the workflow they are. Below the graph, we can see some trends on our submissions for a selected date. We can see how many submissions we have received, accepted, and declined, how long does it take our journal to make an editorial decision, and more. These can be filtered by date and by journal section. The third section of statistics is users. This is a new feature of OJS 3.3 that will allow us to export all registered users in a selected role. This page shows how many users we have in the journal and how the roles are distributed. Now we can click on the export button on the top right corner. We can select which roles we want to export. Scroll to the bottom and click on the export button again. This will download a CSV file with all the information regarding the accounts registered in the selected roles. The last option is Reports. In this option, we can download website usage reports, such as subscription reports, article reports, review reports, and view reports. We can click on the Generate Custom Report button to generate a new report with all the information we need. We can set a default report template and then select the information we want on our report. We also have advanced options where we can customize the columns of our CSV file. When we have chosen all the information we need, we can click on Generate Custom Report and the new report will be downloaded into our computer. Again, this file will be a CSV type, which means it will be necessary to have a spreadsheet application such as Excel, Google Sheets, or OpenOffice to view the data. And this concludes our overview on the statistics of OJS 3.3. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again in the next module.